Welcome to Cubate Pro Academy. We pride ourselves on being the standard of excellence for NCLEX licensing and nursing certification exams. Practice and repetition will enable you to master the concepts and retain the information. My goal is for you to know the material, build the required stamina, and have confidence for exam day. Remember to sign up for more resources and exam questions using the link below. Let's get started. The UAP is taking care of an 82-year-old female patient recently admitted with a hip fracture. The UAP asked the nurse about risk factors for osteoporosis. The nurse correctly answers. Select all that apply. A. Diabetes. B. Prolonged steroid use. C. Old age. D. Kidney failure. The correct answer is B. Prolonged steroid use. C. Old age. And D. Kidney failure. Explanation. Osteoporosis commonly affects the aging population and results in an increased risk of bone fractures. Bone fractures may occur from minimal trauma, such as falls while ambulating due to low bone mass and decreased bone strength. Bone mineral testing, DEXA scan, may be recommended in women 65 years of age and older. A new mother calls the nurse about her son's complaints after getting a new cast. How would the nurse recognize signs of compartment syndrome in a patient with a new cast? Select all that apply. A, increased pulses in the extremity. B, swelling and tightness in the extremity. C, severe pain reported by the patient. D, pain with passive movement. The answer is B, swelling and tightness in the extremity, C, severe pain reported by the patient, and D, pain with passive movement. Explanation, compartment syndrome of the extremity occurs when pressure increases within a compartment and compromises the circulation, blood flow to tissues within the space. Acute compartment syndrome is a surgical emergency. Failure to recognize the condition may result in limb loss. In addition to B, C, and D, patients may experience pins and needles type pain, numbness, and difficulty moving the extremity. This type of NCLEX question emphasizes safety. Do you know when to call the healthcare provider? Do you recognize that this is a medical emergency? The nurse is taking care of a 14-year-old male admitted after falling from a tree. Which of the following are true about fractured leg care prior to cast application? Select all that apply. A. Ambulate with partial weight bearing. B. Buck's traction lengthens the injured leg and provides alignment. C. Assess distal pulses. D. Traction provides immobilization and reduces muscle spasm. The answer is B. Buck's traction lengthens the injured leg and provides alignment. C. Assess distal pulses. And D. Traction provides immobilization and reduces muscle spasm. Explanation. Fractures at the extremity require urgent evaluation. During the assessment, the nurse should complete a neurovascular examination, including distal pulses, capillary refill, motor function, assessing function, as well as two-point discrimination. The nurse is taking care of a 41-year-old male patient recently admitted with a femur fracture. Which of the following are important in traction pin site care? Select all that apply. A. It is part of Buck's traction. B. The nurse should be concerned about a thick white or yellow drainage at the pin site. C. The pin site cannot get wet. D. The nurse should be concerned about a marked increase in the white blood cell count. The NCLEX will ask about nursing care of common orthopedic injuries. The answer is B. The nurse should be concerned about a thick white or yellow drainage at the pin site. 
MD, the nurse should be concerned about a marked increase in the white blood cell count. Explanation. Pin site care includes doing a careful inspection of the pin site for infection, using appropriate technique to cleanse the site, removing any crust, and if necessary, reapplying an appropriate dressing. The nurse is taking care of a 71-year-old male patient recently admitted with a hip fracture of the left lower extremity. What is Buck's traction? Select all that apply. A, requires a metal pin inserted through the skin. B, results from compression of the sciatic nerve. C, consists of a pulley, weight, and cord. D, a system used on a lower extremity to exert pull, align, and stabilize the fracture. The answer is C, consists of a pulley, weight, and cord, rope, and D, a system used on a lower extremity to exert pull, align, and stabilize the fracture. Explanation, Buck's traction is a type of skin traction that is used to align and stabilize the fracture. It does not require placement of a pin through the skin. A foam boot may be placed on the extremity, and this will be attached to the pulley. The UAP asked the nurse about sciatica in a recently admitted patient. The nurse correctly answers. Select all that apply. A. More common in pediatrics. B. Results from compression of the sciatic nerve. C. More common in males. D. Also known as lumbar radiculopathy. The correct answer is B, results from compression of the sciatic nerve. C, more common in males. And D, also known as lumbar radiculopathy. Explanation. Sciatica occurs when pain affects the sciatic nerve. It typically occurs on one side. Patients describe the pain as radiating down the back of the extremity. It may be mild or severe. Sciatica is commonly caused by a herniated disc compressing a lumbosacral nerve root. The nurse is caring for a 66-year-old male with a femur fracture of his right lower extremity and sudden shortness of breath. Which of the following are nursing priorities in a patient with bad embolism? Select all that apply. A. Administering pain medication. B. Administering heparin. C. Administer oxygen. D. Contact the healthcare provider. The correct answer is C. Administer oxygen. And D. Contact the healthcare provider. Explanation Fat embolism most commonly occurs in patients with pelvic or long bone fractures. The fat from the bone marrow enters the bloodstream and travels to the pulmonary circulation. Severe cases may result in respiratory failure and death. The nurse assesses a post-operative patient after arthroscopy. Which of the following are important nursing interventions after arthroscopy? Select all that apply. A. Immobilize the leg for the first 72 hours post-operative. B. Keep the patient NPO for the first 24 hours post-operative. C. Resume ambulation when sensation returns as prescribed by the surgeon. D. Provide pain medication as prescribed by the surgeon. The correct answer is C. Resume ambulation when sensation returns as prescribed by the surgeon and D, provide pain medication as prescribed by the surgeon. Explanation. Arthroscopy is an orthopedic surgical procedure that allows the surgeon to see inside of the joint and perform reparative procedures without making a large incision. Recovery time is faster than the traditional open procedure utilizing the larger incision.
The nurse is assisting a patient with a new cast who is being discharged home with crutches. What are important nursing principles for fitting the crutches properly? Select all that apply. A, avoid brachial plexus injury. B, make sure the crutches rest against the axilla. C, ensure the crutches rest approximately three to four centimeters below the axilla. D, when using the crutches, the elbow should be straight, unbent for support. The correct answer is A, avoid brachial plexus injury, and C, ensure the crutches rest approximately three to four centimeters below the axilla. Explanation, crutches support a percent of a person's body weight. Crutches must be positioned correctly. When standing, the underarm pad should not touch the axilla. Care must be taken to avoid brachial plexus injury. The nurse is taking care of a 27-year-old female admitted after falling off her bicycle. Which of the following are true about plaster cast? Select all that apply. A, plaster cast take longer than synthetic cast to dry. B, plaster cast pose no risk of compartment syndrome. C, plaster cast are waterproof. D, the patient should monitor the extremity for circulation problems. The answer is A. Plaster casts take longer than synthetic casts to dry. And D. The patient should monitor the extremity for circulation problems. Explanation. Casts may be made of fiberglass or plaster and are used to immobilize bone fractures. If the nurse determines impaired circulation, the healthcare provider must be notified. Parents and patients should be instructed about how to recognize signs of neurovascular compromise. The nursing student asks the nurse what she should do if she encounters an individual with a fracture before the EMS arrives. The nurse correctly answers, A, assist the patient to stand and sit in a chair or recliner. B, attempt to gently elongate and align the extremity. C, call 911, encourage the victim to remain still and stay with the individual. D, administer an aspirin or inset pain reliever. The correct answer is C, call 911, encourage the victim to remain still and stay with the individual. Explanation, fractures of the extremity require urgent evaluation. Prior to arrival of EMS, encourage the victim to remain calm and still. Upon arrival to the emergency department, during the assessment, the nurse should complete a neurovascular examination, including distal pulses, capillary refill, motor dysfunction, and assess sensation, as well as two-point discrimination. The nurse is caring for a 33-year-old male with a large circumferential burn of his left lower extremity. The nurse suspects compartment syndrome at physical examination. What is the best next step? A, lower the extremity. B, administer the pain medication ordered. C. Encourage ambulation. D. Call the healthcare provider. The correct answer is D. Call the healthcare provider. Explanation. Compartment syndrome of the extremities occurs when pressure increases within a compartment and compromises the circulation, blood flow, to the tissues within the space. Acute compartment syndrome is a surgical emergency. Failure to recognize a condition may result in limb loss. The nurse is taking care of a 56-year-old male admitted with a femur fracture. The nurse's examination reveals a low-grade temperature. What are signs of pin site infection in a patient with traction pins for four weeks? Select all that apply. A, redness cellulitis around the pin site, B, 
purely drainage at the pin site, D, normal white blood cell count, D, marked pain at the pin site. The correct answer is A. Redness cellulitis around the pin site, B. Purulent drainage at the pin site, and D. Marked pain at the pin site. Explanation Inspection is very important when monitoring pin sites for infection. You should look for skin redness, heat, swelling, and pain. Other signs may be fever, chills, and leukocytosis. The nurse is instructing a patient with a new cast who is being discharged home. What are the instructions for the patient? A. Keep the casted extremity below the level of the heart. B. Treat numbness and paresthesias, pins and needle sensation with the pain medication prescribed. C. Keep the cast dry. D. Avoid using an object to scratch underneath the cast. The correct answer is C, keep the cast dry, and D, avoid using an object to scratch underneath the cast. Explanation, C and D are correct. Positioning the casted extremity above the level of the heart may assist with swelling and comfort. B may be an early sign of compartment syndrome and should not be ignored. The nurse is caring for a 53-year-old diabetic female who recently underwent a below-knee amputation, BKA, of the left lower extremity. What are post-operative complications of BKA in a diabetic? Select all that apply. A. Bleeding from the stump incision site. B. Stroke. C. Infection. D. Renal failure. The correct answer is A. Bleeding from the stump incision site and C. Infection. Explanation. Below knee amputation involves dividing the tibia and fibula, removing the lower leg and foot. BKA is preferred to above knee amputation when possible because patients have a better functional outcome and improved ambulation. The nurse is instructing a patient with a new cast who is being discharged home with crutches. What are important principles for the use of crutches in the home? Select all that apply. A. Remove rugs. B. Avoid carpeted floors. C. Avoid steers. D. Avoid waxed floors. The correct answer is A. Remove rugs and D. Avoid waxed floors. Explanation. Crutches support a percent of a person's body weight. Care must be taken to avoid slipping and falling at home. It is important to teach the patient about risk that may be encountered in the home, such as A and D. Patients can be taught to navigate stairs safely. The nurse is caring for a 53-year-old diabetic female who recently underwent an above-knee amputation, aka of the left lower extremity. What are possible post-operative complications of an aka? Select all that apply. A. Atelectasis. B. Infection. C. Bleeding. D. Phantom limb pain. The correct answer is A. Atelectasis B. Infection C. Bleeding and D. Phantom limb pain Explanation The complications listed above A, B, 
C, and D are not uncommon. Other problems associated with poor outcomes are neuroma and knee contracture. Atelectasis can be reduced by good nursing and respiratory care and include encouraging cough, deep breathing, and incentive spirometry.